The Devin Haney vs. Ryan Garcia fight was truly amazing, and here are some of the best reactions from the boxing world. How you gonna... Before the bout, numerous boxing experts shared their bold predictions. Let's take a look at their thoughts on the matter. While promoter Eddie Hearn has voiced his support for Devin Haney, he acknowledges the formidable threat posed by Garcia, referring to him as a dangerous opponent. Hearn said, I think Devin wins the fight, but Ryan is dangerous. As a style matchup, Ryan has a pretty good style to take on Devin. He's reactive, he can punch, he's technically sound, but Devin is so good in so many areas. Hearn believes that Ryan's combination of power and quick hands poses a significant challenge challenge to Haney. With Ryan's ability to land a decisive blow with just one punch, Devin's vulnerability to being knocked out evident in at least two previous fights adds to the intensity of the matchup. He added, up at 140, Haney is a different fighter now. You saw that in the Regis Progre fight. I think he's a big favorite in the fight, but I respect Ryan, and I give him a live chance in the fight. No, no, and I think that's important for a 140 championship. In expressing his view, Josh Taylor, the once undisputed champion of the division, bestowed his favor upon Haney, citing him as the the preferred contender. He said, Garcia has hand speed, but not the best boxing IQ, but he's quick and he's got good timing with that left hook and he's fast. I just think Devin Haney has better boxing skills, and he's more complete. He can move, defend, or attack as well. Taylor lauded Haney's prowess as a fighter, emphasizing his superior boxing acumen, adeptness in gauging opponents, and intellectual acuity. He extolled Haney's comprehensive skill set. Taylor went on to add, His vision is excellent, his field of vision is excellent, and he can read an opponent very well. He's very good at reading an opponent and reading a fight, so I'm going to go with Devin Haney on this one. Meanwhile, Amir Khan, a former light welterweight champion, picked Devin Haney over Ryan Garcia. Years back, Khan brought Haney on board as his sparring partner to prepare for his fight with Terence Crawford. Seeing Haney's skill up close, Khan was impressed, envisioning a future where Haney would rise to become a world champion. I mean, look, I always said Devin Haney is an amazing fighter. Back in 2018, when I was training for uh, the fight against um, uh, Terence Crawford, he was my, one of my sparring partners. And I mean the water fighter he is, and I said, it for, I said it a long time ago that he is one of the best fighters I've spawned. Amazing fighter, has good skill, good movement, power as well. So yeah, he's really showing his class. 
Khan highlighted the close competition between Haney and Garcia, noting that they had previously fought six times with the score being tied at 3-3. Based on his observations and experience sparring with Haney, Khan expressed his confidence that Haney would come out on top if they were to face each other again. Yeah, I think it would be Ryan Garcia. Yeah. I mean, look, I know they fought three times before. And, no, no, six times, six times before, 3-3. Yeah. But I think if it ever happens again, definitely I think uh, uh, Kevin Haney will take that fight. Furthermore, Khan shared insights from his sparring sessions with Haney, revealing that they had sparred for six, seven, or even eight rounds at a time. Khan praised Haney as a brilliant fighter and expressed his gratitude for Haney's assistance in preparing for his fight against Crawford. I'm um, giving a lot of weight away, but you know what? He holds it quite well. Uh, when I was sparring with him, obviously he was taking the, he, he was ho he's holding his own, you know? Um, I think he's a very good fighter. Um, yeah, we had some great sparring sessions together. We did that one time, we did maybe, we may have done like six, seven, eight, eight rounds with each other, brilliant fighter, and uh, I'm glad that he was there to help. On the other hand, Oscar De La Hoya appeared confident that the clash between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney would shatter pay-per-view records, but skepticism remains. Is this optimism merely the hopeful projection of a promoter, or does it stem from genuine insight within the industry? So Ariel Helwani felt that, basically, Oscar De La Hoya expected the fight to be a sellout. But how much? Ariel Helwani asked, like, what's the ballpark in terms of what a success would be on pay-per-view for you? Like, what are you, what are you hoping for in terms of buys? Oscar De La Hoya replied, I think one of the biggest top 10 pay-per-views of all time. Probably Helwani found it hard to believe. Hence, he checked again whether the pay-per-view sales would cross the million mark. De La Hoya replied, absolutely okay. Absolutely yeah, this is huge. It's really big. It's successful. It's successful already. Yet again, he reverted to highlighting Ryan Garcia's remarkable efforts in hyping up the fight. De La Hoya emphasized that King Rai possesses a natural knack for generating excitement. However, the ex-world champion made it clear that although he could guide Garcia in the ring, he seldom intervened otherwise. He said, it's not not my job to, like you know, babysit or whatever you know. My job is to obviously organize the event and promote and find the fighters. And guess what I found? I found the diamond in the rough with Ryan. He is a hell of a fighter and come Saturday night, he's going to be in tip-top shape. Roy Jones Jr. recently shared his insights on the matchup between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. With both fighters having faced each other six times as amateurs, Jones emphasized the familiarity between the two, suggesting that this would likely prevent an early round halt in their upcoming professional bout. He said, well, the good thing about it is that they fought six times as amateurs. They both are well familiar with one another. Jones highlighted the differences between amateur and professional boxing, pointing out that the longer rounds in professional boxing reveal more about a fighter's development and maturity in the sport. According to Jones, the longer the battle between Garcia and Haney, the clearer it will become which fighter has advanced more in their professional career. He said, professional boxing is different from amateur boxing. You start to find it out when the rounds get longer. You find out who has developed and who has not developed as a professional. Garcia has often relied on his left hook in previous fights, including against Gervonta Davis. Jones believes that Garcia needs to develop more weapons and not be overly reliant on his signature left hook. He said, you can't just depend on the left hook. Everybody knows about your left hook now. Jones pointed out that Davis was able to figure out Garcia's strategy and ultimately knocked him out, highlighting the importance for Garcia to incorporate more punches into his repertoire, such as his right hand, jab, and body shots. According to Jones, diversifying his offense will make Garcia a more unpredictable and effective fighter, enhancing his chances of success against Haney. He said, I think he should develop more tools. His right hand, jab, body shots, develop a few more weapons. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.